Hi, I'm Alia, and today I'd like to tell you a little about the Thetix origin story. The initial seed for what was to become Thetix was planted in 2020 with a platform called Greater Than Learning. Now, Greater Than Learning was a pretty traditional online learning platform with courses on topics such as data ethics, trust and trustworthiness. And the courses were self-paced and you were able to learn about all of these topics from experts. The feedback we got on these courses was pretty positive. People liked that they were practical, they were learning a ton, but one thing that we kept hearing about these courses was that people were missing the collaborative uh, aspect of it. And as we know, tech ethics is a social process, so why didn't we include more of this in our courses? So based on this, we went back to our drawing board and we looked at all of the different research on how people learn best. And our experience as educators also shows that we all learn best when we actually get the chance to do the thing we're trying to learn. And especially if we get the chance to do it together with other people. So that has led us to the question, how can we design a more active social learning experience. And this is how Tetix was born. Now, after months of work, we finally released our first pilot experience in March 2022, and it was a five-week exploration challenge journey in tech ethics. Now, I could talk about this for hours, but instead, I suggest we take a look at a short clip from the welcome video we prepared for this pilot experience. Let's take a look together. Welcome, traveler. Now close your eyes. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. You have now traveled to the Thetix Learning Archipelago, a virtual training ground accessible only to those who are brave enough to face the stormy sea of ethical challenges and exercise their moral imagination along the way. The five week long journey you're about to undertake will allow you to choose a challenge in the field of tech ethics and guide you towards a practical solution to an intense journey of questioning, researching and exploring different ethical considerations in a collaborative simulation. While it might be tempting to sail straight ahead to the island of Practicalia, the home of scholars at the University of Eggbridge where solutions are developed, the safest way across the sea of ethical challenges is by calling at friendly ports on each of the islands in the archipelago. Your lightkeepers, Matt and myself, Alia, will meet you there every Tuesday with important supplies and unique perspectives that will prepare you to face whatever the sea of ethical challenges throws at you and your crew. Over the course of five weeks sailing the stormy waters of the sea of ethical challenges will challenge your views on tech ethics, train your moral and collaborative muscles and offer a unique opportunity to learn by doing together. We hope you're just as excited about this journey as we are, and we hope to meet you at the Travelers Inn at Picadia City before we embark on our journey. And remember, trust your crew, keep an open mind, be kind, and you will have a one-of-a-kind journey in the Tethics Learning Archipelago. We were able to see from that short clip we designed the Thetix Learning Archipelago, a virtual training ground for tech ethics. Now, to begin with, we designed four islands in the archipelago, if each roughly matching different skills you need to, to be successful in, in tech ethics. So we have uh, we had the challenge child for kind of collaborative skills, the island of Instigalia for research skills, the island of Practicalia where our crews got to think of practical solutions, and of course the island of insights for reflections. 
Now, as much as we would have loved to create a super immersive experience that you might see in, in movies or TV, uh, we are not quite there. We have a big vision, but as with any startup, we have to start tiny. So we used pretty traditional tools for our exploration journey. For instance, for our three hour weekly live session that we hosted over Zoom, we used mural collaborative uh, templates such as the one you see behind me. The crews were mo mostly working independently in breakout rooms and they also used the same templates to collaborate during the week. We had 20 intrepid fellows who formed four crews joining us on this exploration journey from all over the world. And each of these four crews explored different challenges related to tech ethics. So there were no predefined topics and challenges for them. Each crew kind of had to figure out how to work best together and what challenge they want to kind of research and tackle together as a crew. Of course, we learned a lot on this exploration journey. And one of the big key takeaways was that building trust online is hard and takes time. Now, seeing this makes it seem kind of obvious, right? We all know that uh, working together online is a bit different, and especially when you're working in groups with strangers. So we were kind of expecting this to happen. It, it just like we got a really good confirmation on this journey on how complicated this process really is. Now our crews, each of the crews kind of find their own ways to work together, uh, but it was a challenging aspect that took a lot of the time in the process. Now the other big key takeaway was that we all have a lot of educational baggage and that it's pretty heavy. What we mean by that is that as learners, we kind of have this expectation on how learning is supposed to look like based on our experience with formal education, you know, the schools, universities, and so on. So we kind of expect to learn, you know, the theory from experts and then get some homework and assignments and, and check marks uh, to know that we're, we're doing well. And, but we, we were trying to do something different with the emphasis on ambiguity, exploration and collaboration. So, so that was quite a challenge. But we also real, realized that we also have our own educational baggage as learning designers. We tend to think about assignments and activities as kind of these boxes where participants, learners have to fill, fill them in. So we also have to try to try and think of different ways how people could contribute in, in different mediums, different ways and go beyond the answer in a box approach. Now, we don't have time to go into details of everything that we learned on this journey. So if you're interested in the instructional design aspect and detailed descriptions of our activities and preliminary learnings, I want you to visit our blog on tetix.co for detailed weekly journey reports. We did learn a lot on this pilot exploration journey, but now it's time for us to go back to our virtual drawing board and ask ourselves, how can we improve this experience and really start changing tech for good. We believe there are three key ingredients that we need for imagining and co-creating preferable tech futures. The first one is imagination. As you might have seen from our welcome video, we use a lot of like storytelling and metaphors, and that's not by accident. We want to give people this kind of space to imagine different possibilities, to kind of take a step back and see different possibilities, perspective that we usually don't get to consider because we are so stuck with our default mental patterns. Another important ingredient for us is play. We all know that as children, we learn best through play when we were playing with the other kids on the playground. And as adults, we kind of lose that as we go through school and we have this artificial distinction between work and serious learning and play, which is fun. Now, we, and we know and research tells us that 
play is important for learning. So we want to bring more elements of play in, into our experiences. And finally, co-design. Tech plays such a big part in all of our lives. So we really think it's important to include diverse perspectives and hear a lot of different voices. We published our co-design principles on our websites, so you can check them out. And we really want to start following these principles in our future activities. So we don't develop our experiences in a silo, in an echo chamber, but really create something that will be engaging, interesting for a lot of different people. So what's next for TEDx? We are planning to really embrace our co-design principles because we know we cannot do this alone. We cannot design these experiences in a silo and we need your help as well. We're now recruiting pathfinders who will join us on this adventure and help us co-design these fun, engaging, immersive learning experiences. And it's also important for us to continue learning in the open and sharing all our experiments and pilots uh, with you. Now, the concepts I talked about today, such as, you know, learning through play, uh, imagination and all of these things are not new. But the way we are trying to combine them in and help and use them to, to explore the field of tech ethics is quite new. So we, we really want to share what we're learning with you and hopefully maybe even spark some new ideas, new projects, um, and just, you know, feed everyone's imagination. If you're interested in learning more about where, what we're doing, I invite you to visit our website at thetics.ceo. We'll be adding new content like this regularly. And if you really want to join us on this epic exploration adventure, I invite you to sign up for our Pathfinders newsletter and you'll get exclusive invites to events, co-designing sessions, playtesting sessions. I really hope to see you in the Tactics Learning Archipelago soon. Thank you.